Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. We are going to be going in with their confessions for the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Let's go ahead and give it up. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, bam, bam, hello to my members. If you are catching this on another platform, um, I am going to go ahead and say that this is going to be the water sign element. They will be timestamped below. But if you are catching this on another platform, such as Rumble, such a well, Rumble will probably be timestamped. But the ones that I call out, if you catch it on Instagram um, or TikTok, um, it will definitely be its own individual video. So we are going to go ahead and be starting out and start out with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what's the healthiest choice? So right now you guys have an energy between you of obviously a choice. This feels like they're confessing that it is a doozy. It is very hard for them to make a decision regarding this situation. Um, the introspection oracle right here um, is saying what's the healthiest choice. Intuitively, Cancer Collective, this feels like obviously there is an energy between you and this individual where you guys are torn between two choices. Do I stay or do I walk away? It could definitely be that. Let's go ahead and get into their confessions just to set this reading up. We will go in with five confessions and a top of the deck. And then at that point, I will be clarifying with Romance Angel Oracles. And then we will be rounding this out with the Angel Answer Oracle and getting you out of here. Let's go ahead and find out what we have. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and I am depressed and stuck. I need help, and I feel like a loser. Well, damn. Okay, so this feels like this individual is struggling, obviously, and they're telling you right out the gate, Cancerian, that they're depressed. They need help. They feel like a loser. There are some things that they have not done for you. Um, there are some things that, um, obviously when they say that they feel like a loser, this me this means that they feel like they have felt fallen short of the essentials, the basics that is needed in a relationship. Um, and they don't feel like they've done right by you. Your love is pure, but mine is superficial. I played on this. This individual has an issue with love and because they are coming out and saying that they're depressed. A lot of their things right now is resurfacing cancer. You may notice that you have seen a change in this individual. This is definitely res resonating, um, especially right now when we have six planets in retrograde as well, and one of those being Mercury. So things are going to be unsticking and unstuck really soon. Um, if you were intuitively thinking, Kazarian, that this individual is going to come, come, come to you and confess, this is what... Um, they're going to confess. Now, when they say that they're exhausted by the, exhausted by the connection, it's time for them to disconnect for a while. Um, it could have been the exact same thing for you. The reason why they're exhausted is because they have a responsibility to you. And unfortunately, with them being depressed and stuck, they can't get they can't get right. I I need help. I feel like a loser. Like they can't get right. Okay. So them being exhausted doesn't necessarily have anything to do with their love for you. But it has everything to do with the state of mind that they're in right now. I can't feel happiness with you anymore. I tried to make myself happy, but I simply couldn't. So they were looking for you at one point to bring them happiness. And now maybe because you walked away and you're not happy, now they can't feel anything. This person is depressed, Cancer. Um, and um, they try to make themselves happy. I feel like maybe with substances and things of that nature, I don't know exactly um, what they were trying to do intuitively. It feels like whatever they tried to do, it just did not work. Okay. Um, we also have, what do we have here, spirit? And at last we have, I am drowning in my own pool of tears from the separation. Exactly. So on one hand, they can't feel happiness and that's because that's due to their depression. But at the same time, they're drowning in their own pool of tears because you've walked away. And because you've walked away and you, you can't handle it anymore, they don't exactly know what to do, Cancer. So 
they're really struggling right now um, with what to do. And again, what is the healthiest choice? Is the healthiest choice you leaving? Um, is the healthiest choice them coming back to you in this state of mind? You know, is the healthiest choice um, have something to do with reconciliation? What is the healthiest choice? The top of the deck, I care about you, but I am no longer passionate towards you. All right, this individual definitely is struggling um, clinically with some things. They're not passionate about much of anything. Um, so um, them being exhausted by the connection has a, in the heart place has a lot to do with their exhaustion toward themselves and their inability to be able to do anything right. They do care about you. And when they say that they're no longer passionate towards you again, I do not feel like this has anything to do with you per se. It has everything to do with their depression. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify this with the Romance Angel Oracle cards and find out what they may be feeling romantically. Um, so there is a healthy choice. All right. Let me pause this for a quick second so I can pull these cards out. It looks like Jenga in here. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and go in with our romance angel. I care about you, but I am no longer passionate towards you. Interesting. Cancer, you have felt like the this person's, um, there's something within this person that has Something has changed dramatically in this individual. I am depressed. Well, they're depressed because um, someone from the past is returning to your life. Um, they feel stuck now from a romantic perspective. They're dealing with this in their life, but also in the romantic perspective, they want to return to your life right now. However, um, they have lost control because what also has come out is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your, their life. Their life was starting to fall apart, Cancerian, just as maybe you guys were hidden like a cusp in this relationship. You walked away because they could not get it together. Now they want to come back. A part of their depression, a large part of this depression is the fact that they've lost you because they lost control of everything else in their life. Um, your love is superficial, but my, your love is pure, but mine's a superficial. I played on this being clarified by worth the wait. Um, divine timing is at work right now. You probably don't know this because you have walked away and you are exploring other options, cancer, but right now they're waiting. They're waiting on the right time to come in. They're waiting on the right time to say everything. They really just don't know. They feel very stuck and they already feel like they lost you. Um, their exhaustion is because they're exhausted by their mistakes and their ability to do things correctly. Clarify that for me, please. Yes, because they don't express their love. They don't express their love. They don't express their the depth of their emotions to you, Cancer. They don't do any of this. They don't make the romantic gestures that they need. And because of that, you probably walked away under this impression that they really didn't love you. And I, I'm not going to say necessarily that they're even aware of a lot of the things and the depths of their emotions because again there is a block but they have constantly been guided to make the romantic gesture and express their love but they are definitely afraid of being judged which has nothing to do with you I can't feel happy with you with this anymore I, I, I tried to make myself happy and I couldn't that's because of their addictions now and I did I, I was alluding to that, but I wanted this to come out. This person is extremely co uh, codependent um, and feeling happiness with you. You try to do everything in your power to make them happy. That was the problem. And, and the problem also in, in that was that it wasn't your job. This person has to feel happiness within themselves. You are not put on this earth to constantly feed and pour into another individual and don't get that back. So um, they can't feel happiness again because... I tried to make myself happy, but I simply couldn't. They need others to come in and do that for them. This person obviously is really, really sick cancer. So I'm just going to put that out there. Drowning in my own pool of tears from the separation being clarified by let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold. Um, they don't want to. They want to control it. And the, reason, the way that they control it 
is by ghosting and not making healthy choices. And, you know, when, when things got too rough, you know, the codependency and um, I'm sure projecting that in, that energy back onto you, Cancer. Um, but I'm letting you know right now that um, they they really are sick. So the top of the deck reflects back to us that it's time to reveal their innermost selves. Um, and, and, and the passion that they feel is all about the codependency. I care about you, but I'm no longer passionate towards you. Well, because it has moved beyond passion and this will be something that this individual will say and they, the energy here is saying to express your love, but they wouldn't express their love. They would express something like this because there is a block. There is like some type of um, emotional um, um, block here. And because they don't express themselves, they always put their foot in their mouth. And I'm going to tell you, I'm no longer passionate towards you. I don't get that the passion is gone because there is a lack of passion. I feel like the, the passion is blocked and they just don't know how to get the spark back. See, this person is extremely codependent and things that you did in the beginning, you stopped doing. So, you know, because they fed so much um, off of your energy with this connection, when you're not doing those things anymore, it's hard for them to be engaged. It's like when a child associates you giving candy with love. If when you don't give your a child something like a, a brat, like I have, and well, she's grown out of that stage where she's going to tell you that you don't love her, but how some kids will break down crying and feel like you don't love them or you, you know, if you're not giving them something, that's how this person feels. Okay. So it's pretty uh, clear here that reconciliation is what they want, but they have a lot of issues uh, such as codependency. They have an issue with communication and they want to control the narrative in order to, um, for some of you guys to be a narcissist. I really feel like this individual is sick. Um, they are in a depression, but that doesn't have anything to do with the, the price of tea in China. If you're not getting what you need from the situation, then obviously cancer, you have already left. So they're trying to figure out what the healthiest choice is when it comes down to going back to you. And you're trying to figure out what the healthiest choice is for staying away from them. Or do you allow yourself to walk into this reconciliation knowing that this shit can come back up? Show me spirit and hold on. So this shows that a year from now, something is going to change. Um, and I'm talking about a year from right now. The situation could be changing for the better. What else do we have? So the first thing that popped in your head when you saw that, what's the second card we have? You're being guided to ask your angels. And what is the third card we have? The answer is no. So like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Um, it is very, very clear that this person will not allow this situation to unfold the way that it is supposed to unfold. But, and there is a choice here. There is a choice. One choice is the healthier out of the two. And I'm going to bring that back to you and we will go from there. Cancer, it is always a pleasure. Right now, there is an energy check-in for this week. Please go and check that out. I will link that as I always do in the description box as well as the pink comment. So you can go and check out your energy this week. Bye guys. All right, Scorpio, you are up. This is going to be, okay, for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Let's find out. And you can also, this can also apply to you, of course, and Venus. Sun Moon Rising and Venus is completely fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead right now and go in with your introspection oracle. Okay, that popped right out. I'm complicated, but so are you. If spirit is not talking tonight. I am complicated, but so are you. So it is obvious you guys are at some type of Mexican standoff. Your person is confessing that, that you know, it's like that, uh, what is her name? Ju 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 Julia Michaels. You got issues and I got them too. Um, and it's just like, but we're together. It feels like, you know, there's a complication factor between you guys and... Scorpio, we're going to find out what they are confessing, okay? Um, if you are watching this on other platforms, please keep in mind that um, it will not be timestamped. You will just have your video, okay? If you're watching it specifically on TikTok or 
um, Instagram. It just will be the video. Guys, everything is being uploaded in, onto Instagram. The new formatting makes it a little bit easier to do that. So please go and follow me over there because I'm going to start to go live and do some more things over there as I have been promising. Okay. Um, both of you guys are holding yourself back, it feels like, um, wondering whether it is safe to move forward. Let's go ahead and find out what they're confessing. Show me spirit, spirits. I regret bringing you into my life. You have been more than I can actually handle. They go, hey, I'm complicated, but so are you. Uh, so are you. And this is basically what is being is being conveyed. There are complications where you get in your own way. There's arguments that's being started. There's all of this shit that shouldn't even be interesting. That shouldn't even be a topic of conversation. Yet, you guys always end up going there. I feel like we shouldn't see each other for a while. I need to recover. There's something that went down between you guys. There's something that went down. Um, and having regrets, that's not great. Starting off with regrets, that's not good. Um, you guys need, you, you do that. You separate, you come back together. You separate, you come back together. You can't stay away from one another. I am completely over you. Please don't bother my peace. They try to walk away from you and they can't. They try to leave you alone and they cannot. That's the complicated part of the way that you guys love. Um, I hold on to resentments because I feel like we're not seeing eye to eye. Look at this. Every one of these cards is in the vein of I'm complicated, but so are you. It feels like both of you guys are mirroring right now, um, Scorpio. I'm just going to let you know. Wow, this is it's like they're reading your thoughts back to you. Okay, let's go ahead and get this last confession we have. I prefer to listen to my ego because I don't want to do the right thing. I want to do what feels good. So this person definitely is a fellow fire sign, fire sign, a fellow water sign like you. They're drawn by what feels good, not by a responsibility to, of doing what's right. That's what's complicated. But then they have times where they will take the high road. It's just not consistent. It's up and down and it's really more so uh, Scorpio based upon how they feel. I feel I lack security and stability in this connection. Um, you guys are operating under the rules of being just friends, and that is the reason why things are not working out, um, because I think you guys are both doing this where we're not together, um, and that's a fixed a fixed sign thing. Oh, okay, well, we're not together. You can do whatever, but in actuality, you don't want this person to be um, with doing anything with anybody else. You want that person for yourself, but... Um, the lack of security and stability is here. Um, there are a lot of regrets here, but yet they they stay they stay connected to you. Trust is a big factor. The situation is calling for them to have faith. There has been some things between you guys that have went down, and as a result of it going down, basement um, there you know there is a lack of trust, and that trust is because again, um, lacking security and stability in the connection. I feel like we don't see eye to eye. They need to recover. They're trying to keep an open mind. They're trying to convince themselves that you are different from their usual type and expectations. But actually, what I think it more so resonates here, Scorpio, is that you are a mirror image of them. And um, you guys constantly keep each other on task because you reflect that energy right back to one another. And that is probably what is um, very uncomfortable about this situation. To be quite honest with you, okay? I'm completely over you. Please don't bother my peace. All right. So, no, they're not completely over you. They want to ascend in their heart to a higher level of commitment. And they're not going to bow down and be honest and vulnerable with you as long as you're as long as you're acting like Scorpio. Whatever you're giving back to them, they're giving it back to you. They feel like if they're the, they're not going to take the high road, as they say, I hold on to resentments because I feel like we're not seeing eye to eye. They listen to their ego instead of doing uh, instead of because they want to do what feels good rather than doing the right thing. This is the thing. And really what they want that's coming up in the hard place. They're not completely over you at all. As a matter of fact, the more and more complicated this damn connection is, the more they fall harder in love with you. The question is, is that are you going to allow yourself to be with someone just as damn complicated as you um, or not? Because 
it seems like they match your energy and then they end up regretting it. And you could probably have some regrets too. But at the same time, you're not going to admit it. Um, you're better at holding out. Your willpower is definitely stronger. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's clarifying. I hold on to resentments. Um, and, you know, because I feel like we don't see eye to eye. It's time for the past to be let go. There was some type of false start or a, um, a, a false impression or something that happened in the past between you guys. But there is so much love here between you that you don't know how to survive. You don't know how to get out of that energy. And we also have worth waiting for, which is interesting. Um, they want to do what feels good. And what feels good is to wait on you. Don't get it twisted. They don't want to admit that they're putting their life on hold for you, Scorpio, but they're hoping, honestly, that you get some act right about yourself because they are attracted. I feel lack, like I feel I lack security and stability in the connection. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know that's the truth. I feel like I lack security and stability in the connection, yet they are wildly attracted to loving you or the, the romantic love that this connection brings. You guys are extremely connected to one another, but you are complicated as all damn get out. Um, there's a lot of power struggles between you guys, um, and that's the unfortunate part. But the love at the same time, when you get together and things are harmonious, it is unlike anything um, that they've ever experienced. And that's the truth, Scorpio. No matter how much they tell you that, um, you know, you're complicated, but so are you. They want a commitment with you. They feel like they lack the security and the stability because they really want it with you. You see that? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is what they want in their heart. This this came up in the heart place. And you may not want that. You may not, you know, and it's not being communicated properly. Or maybe you did communicate to Scorpio and they just don't want to listen. All right. We do have choose a new direction. The first thing that popped in your head when you saw that. Choose a new direction. Or we have take action. First thing that popped in your head when you saw that, or we have don't stop. All right. You heard what the card said. Trust. Keep an open mind. Engagement for yourself. Worth waiting for. Um, there is a complicated connection, but yet you guys are wildly attracted to one another. Anyway, um, they don't feel like they are stable and secure in this connection yet. You guys are equally complicated and they want you to know that no matter what, what they're confessing, what, what, what their confessions show is that they just don't want to let you know how wild they are over you. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Scorpio, it's always a pleasure and I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in your energy for the week, that video is up. I will link that description for you. Go check out what I pulled down for your energy this week. And then we will also do a weekend edition. See you soon. All right, Pisces, you're up. Interestingly enough about your pre-shuffle energy, um, I really feel like I'm going to take that. And your introspection oracle is never devote yourself to a ghost. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is their confessions. Um, Never devote yourself to a ghost, Pisces. Well, it is very clear that this individual feels like you are ghosting them. You swim away, you swim back, you swim away, you swim back. There is never any consistency here. And this is what they are confessing. Their energy is saying that they've devoted themselves to you and they feel like you have been absent from the connection, okay? Let's find out what else they are con uh, they are confessing. If you are catching this on any other platforms, please note that although it will be time stamped on YouTube, it will be its individual video on both Instagram and TikTok. And we have, I feel like we shouldn't see each other for a while. I need to recover. They don't want to see you because they feel like they don't see you anyway. As long as you keep the connection open with them, Pisces, they feel, um, and, and, and you're not there. Presence is everything with this person. And you're not there then it seems as if 
um, they feel much better at controlling the way that things are going a little bit rather than letting you do it. See, I don't feel like you are growing or transforming. I feel I feel I am leaving you behind. They want to leave the connection because they feel absolutely no growth. And if we go back to this again, never devote yourself to a ghost. They feel like they've been in this relationship by themselves. OK, um, there has been no growth here. They want um, growth. They feel like where you guys are, you should be achieving feats. And loving, um, loving at a certain level, and you guys are not doing that, and they're upset. The heart place shows I have, I have too much going on to deal with your problems. Save it for another time. They feel as if you've had nothing but complications. They've really stepped up to the plate and allowed themselves to really be there for you. But they don't feel like a has been reciprocated, and b you ghost, you swim off. Um, this person is feeling like, you know, you have been a ghost to them. Now, it could be the other way around, guys. Understand that. We also have, I have bipolar disorder. Wow. One day I'm stable and the next day I am making you crazy for my own pleasure. I hate to say this. You could definitely be like, see, Marv, exactly. I'm not the one that's crazy as them. Bipolar disorder doesn't necessarily mean... Um, that they're crazy, but I honestly, I hate to say this. I honestly feel like this is how they feel about you. I feel like they're confessing, um, that they feel like you have this now they could be saying this, but I don't understand, um, why they would be in the position where they're saying they're stable and they're making you crazy for their own pleasure. Um, one of the things that I have an issue with this card, um, is that, Bipolar disorder is like one day I'm stable and the next day I'm making you crazy for my own pleasure. That that my own pleasure part, I don't really feel that mean that a person knows that they have bipolar disorder and they're using it as a weapon. You know what I'm saying? I think that a lot of people that do that is afflicted by this um, this disorder, they don't know what the hell is going on with them half the time. And to do it for their own pleasure, you know, I didn't, I'm not the author of the deck, but um, there are certain cards when they come out, I, I see them a little bit different. I honestly feel like they probably have joked with you about having bipolar disorder and it's not a joking matter. Why? Because you are the Pisces, you are the fish, you go up and down. One day you're up and one day you're down, just, just the nature of, and then being ruled by Neptune that's just the nature of how you're built. So I honestly feel like they feel this way about you, but take it as it resonates, okay? What else do we have? And then we have, I am drowning in my own. Uh, okay, so I am drowning in my own pool of tears from this separation. So it's clear that they're unhappy um, that you guys are separated. They feel like there has been unfinished business here, um, but there's definitely other things here, ghosting and leaving and disorders that are being hidden, even if it's from them to you or you from them. There's definitely some things that are hidden here that's happening behind the scenes. Top of the deck, I am manipulating you to my will, but I will not submit to yours. All right, so this is the second card where this individual is telling you what they are doing. And I feel like this person does have the capability of being a little manipulative. It could be that you knew that, and that is the reason why um, you are trying to, you know, you, you, you refuse to change. Maybe it's because you know that, but I will say, um, I do feel like that's a coping mechanism, um, manipulating you. Um, they're doing that be out of spite possibly because they feel like they haven't received something from you Pisces. Um, when people feel ghosted, it leaves them feeling isolated and used, um, and if you ghost the right person and you leave them alone, they can concoct all sorts of things. Um, this whole bipolar disorder could be what they're doing, but what they feel. They can definitely be feeling like they're doing that just to get you back because you, when you leave, you, you leave. And they're left with this emotional, um, these emotions and they don't know what to do with it. Please take it as it resonates. Let's go in with the Romance Angel Oracles and find out where we are here. I feel like we shouldn't see each other for a while. Calling in your soulmate. So, yes, they feel like they should not see 
you for a while, but then they pray, affirm, and visualize you guys back together, which uh, ding, 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 keeps them in your energy. Um, while they're recovering, they're thinking about you, and they're not recovering because they have you on the brain, Pisces. So um, I feel like I don't need you. I feel like you are... I feel, I don't feel that you are growing or transforming. I feel I am leaving you behind. Um, there are some healing family issues that need to take place. This is probably the reason why you're not healing or growing right now, because you're still experiencing the exact same thing, Pisces, maybe with your father or with your mother or with just people in your family. Um, so this is one of those things that could be um, going on behind the scenes. And then you refuse to give the relationship a chance or actually work on this partnership because um, maybe you have blocked this out or maybe they're not looking at it. It seems like you guys refuse to learn each other's love language, too, because, you know, it's like one person they 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 do to you sort of like a little bit like Scorpio's video. They do to you what they feel like you're doing to them. But in actuality, you got real things going on behind the scenes. And because your communication is that is in detriment as a Pisces sun, especially if you have a Mercury in Pisces, and it only applies if your Mercury is in Pisces as a Pisces sun, um, then with you having the detrimented Mercury, that's not something that you want this individual to know, okay? Too much going on to deal with your problems. So your person... Um, may have some financial issues right now. This is what they're saying. Um, of course, it could be in reverse and you could be the one that's not only um, dealing with healing family issues, Pisces, but obviously has some financial issues also. Again, it can be in reverse. If the energies are here, then let that be accurate enough. Take it as it resonates. Maybe this is this person. Maybe it's you. Okay. Um, the bipolar disorder was is an interesting card. I almost don't even want to Ah, religious factors. Interesting. Your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. Very, very interesting because maybe there is a religion or a way that you guys were raised that is just so different. This makes you guys so damn different that, you know, I'm not saying that I've already explained my stance on this whole bipolar disorder card. Um, and but at the end of the day, there definitely are some major differences with the way you guys compute things, the way that you guys emote. Um, and there feels like there has been some major trauma or major differences or major pain, especially when it goes back to healing those family issues um, that has taken place here. That's definitely affecting this connection. Okay. Um, and we also have playfulness. So, to recapture romance, allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Pisces, you may find this individual coming back and starting to flirt and starting to like open up and like start throwing you out, um, you know, little anchors or, you know, dropping these little lines to see if they can try to recapture things between you. They don't want this to be over. Okay. The top of the deck is unrequited love and this could be exactly what the hell is going on there just simply is not enough enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going it is um perhaps the fact that you realize that they were manipulating you and therefore you put your foot down and that's the reason why you ghosted to begin with or it could be the other way around okay so again, um, they they want you to work on the relationship. They call you in. They, they so this is it is sort of like bipolar disorder. It seems like when you're up, they're down, and when they're down, you're up. You guys just cannot get where you need to be. Um, there is soulmate energy between you two. So if you really truly do work on your partnership, give this relationship a chance if you want, and really work on your own individual. Um, Family issues, maybe it could work. The manipulate the manipulation, of course, has to stop. All right, but they are feeling like they've devoted themselves to a ghost. Let's go ahead and go in with your angel answer energy. And while we're doing this, if you are interested in your weekly energy, I did do an energy update. Please go check that out, Pisces. We do have don't stop. 
first thing that pops up in your head when this uh, card is shown on the screen. Okay, choose a new direction. This was very, very similar to the Scorpio reading. And then we have compromise. This is interesting. So for some of you guys, it goes back to the fact that it's not, it's unrequited love right now because um, there is no one that's actually putting the work in. This is saying work on this partnership and compromise. I love it. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. It is always a pleasure reading your energy, Pisces. I will see you in the next one. Please look out for the weekend update, the weekly, um, uh, the weekend energy, and the weekly energy from the 16th. Okay, hello. If I can get my calendar. Um, I guess I can just look at <laughs> the channel. From the 16th through, I'm sorry, the 12th through the 16th is out now. And I will see you in your next one. Bye, guys.